Hi, I'm Lynn Duncan. I work at Massachusetts General Hospital in Boston and I'm a professor at Harvard Medical School. I kind of fell into dermatopathology and I have to thank my dad for um, giving me the idea of doing pathology in the first place. I was going to do pediatric hemonc and as a fourth year medical student, my father, who's a pathologist, said, well, why don't you go down to Memphis for a month and do pathology and round with the team? And I had the wonderful opportunity of working with Cosperard there, who taught me hematopathology. And I realized very quickly that I loved looking at slides and reading about cases. And I liked that interaction with the team and the clinical care. Um, so I came back to uh, St. Louis, where I was a medical student, and started my pathology residency shortly thereafter. And it was during pathology residency that I thought I would stay as hematopatholo a hematopathologist. There's a number of events that happened that led me to think that I maybe should do something different. And I applied for derm path all over the country and ended up being accepted at the Harvard program, which surprised me, but I was pretty happy to go work with Dr. Mim, and that's how I ended up in dermatopathology. It wasn't uh, a conscious effort to always do skin, but I've stayed there. I've been there for 25 years. The value is on multiple levels. I think in the beginning, for me, it was a social value, because every year you go and you meet people who um, you know as colleagues, but who you see and share the love of looking at slides and solving the patient puzzle, but also you know, a social, social environment. For many years, there was a group of women that would meet and have lunch together and share you know, what was going on with our families and what was going on in the workplace. And um, I, I look forward to, to it from a social level. But then the next level that is very important was that um, kind of career building where you have peers, where you can talk about what the different choices that people make along their career path. And that, again, you could call that social, but I think it was also very instrumental in a lot of the choices that I made to stay at Mass General and how you navigate a, a work environment. And then finally, and maybe most importantly, the educational aspect and the platforms that are produced every year at this meeting are, um, it's really the only place that you can get this kind of curriculum that's so varied and it meets the needs of the very early out of training. And people who have been around for a while like me, you know, it's, it's a great meeting. As a group, we're trying to think about what the future of dermatopathology is. There's going to be a strategic planning meeting in November where the executive committee and, and some other key people are meeting to talk about what is the future for this society and how does that fit with the future of dermatopathology. I think there are a number of very exciting things on the horizon for us, virtual pathology, where we can look at a computer screen or our iPad or our phone even and make a diagnosis from scanned images. Um, how that will play into education as well as truly diagnostic pathology, we don't really know. Um, trying to do things in the most cost-effective way possible is, is going to be important in the future. And the society is addressing that through some of the issues, the appropriate use committee. and. Um, really trying to think about how to implement some of the new molecular technologies in a way that makes sense and is based on scientific evidence, um, but also takes advantage of something new and exciting. So a lot of things on the horizon in dermatopathology. Do what makes you happy. Rec take the time to recognize what brings you joy and pursue that. And if you find that you love looking under the microscope, then a job where you're doing that 10 hours a day, you're going to have fun doing that. If you like reading and writing, you might be more suited for something academic, where you're also looking at the scope and reading and writing and solving problems. I and mean, figure out what it is that you love doing and just go for it, and you'll be successful.